Okay, so the question here is saying, given matrix P and matrix C, determine C, E if possible. Okay, so first case is saying, if possible. So you're going to ask me how I determine if it's possible or not. Okay, so we have row and column. They saying C time B. So it would be C time B, right? Okay, so I will have it here, C. And I will have B here, time B. Okay, so CB here. I have um, uh, row and column. We said we will say row and column. We have how many row and how many column so here for C we have one two three row how many column one and two okay okay that's good so we have three time two and for B, we have how many uh, row? We have one, two. Time how many column? One, two, three. Awesome. So if these two numbers, two and two, equal each other, so we're good to go. It's possible. They say here it's possible. So it's possible. Awesome. So uh, now the next thing we're gonna think about is when we solve it, we need three by three matrix. These two numbers. So we need three by three matrix. So here is the answer will be three by three matrix. Okay, you're gonna ask me, if this is different, can we solve it? No, if this is different, it will not be possible to solve uh, this problem. So, because it's the same, so we can solve it. Okay, how are we gonna solve it? So easy, okay? So here, we're gonna take this times this. Here. And after that, this times this. And this times this. So we're gonna work with, with each other step by step. So we're gonna say zero times two equal zero negative two times five negative ten equal negative ten this is will be the first number here okay we're going next um column so first row next column zero times negative one is zero negative two times three it's negative six it will be negative six this is will be here okay we'll take the um first row with third column in matrix b okay so let's let's do this so you guys I 
doing something. So we say here um, zero negative two times negative six. So zero times two is zero, and negative two negative two times negative one is what is positive two exactly. Okay, so two. So we gonna go here for the next row time the first column so three times two equal six two times five equal ten so it's sixteen yes three times negative one is negative three plus two times three six negative three plus six it will be positive 3 we were taking the sign of the higher number you know that and 3 we put 3 here and what else here so 3 last one 3 times 2 is 6 2 times negative 1 it's, it should be plus here but plus minus it's minus so it's um, two times negative one is negative two, right? So it's four. So four is here. And last one, last row here, time first um, column to be one time two, equal two, negative five times five equal negative 25 which is negative 23 so this one it will be negative 23 and here one time negative one is negative one and negative five times three is negative 15 which will be negative 16 so we'll put negative 16 here and last one is 1 time 2 is 2 negative 5 time negative 1 negative negative will be plus plus 5 so it will be 7 so 7 here so we have matrix 3 by 3 we're good to go and that's it